Hi, welcome to another Photoshop Lightroom tutorial. My name is Matt and I'm with Creative 8 and I'm going to show you how to apply a default preset when importing photos in Lightroom and this is a benefit to you because first off when you are able to import photos with a preset you can determine what values and what style or what look you want to be applied to those photos when you first bring them in and that's great for when you're trying to establish you know your look and your style as you know with photography you can go ahead and determine that ahead of time and it'll apply all the photos at import which will also uh, give it the the chance to render the preview images at the time of import instead of having to uh, after importing them and then having it render out the previews and then applying a preset and having to render it out a second time it'll do it right there initially so that'll save you some time but as well as giving you a good starting excuse me, a good starting point for your photos when, uh, when bringing, an, uh, bringing them into a photo shoot. The second thing too is is that maybe there's a lot of different um, lighting conditions you, you shoot on if you're out, uh, you're, you're a location photographer and sometimes your presets don't work quite how you'd want from one photo shoot to another. So you can set up a default preset or maybe you could set up a preset for each photo shoot that's unique to each photo shoot. And I sometimes like to do that and um, I want to show you though kind of going through doing a combination of both setting some general settings and then maybe setting some specific settings to the photos that I'm going to import here. And I'm also going to uh, go ahead and apply a default vignette to it uh, whether you like vignettes or not I do so some of my import settings I already do that with. So let's go ahead and get started I've probably talked enough and go ahead and import some photos to go in and start adjusting and kind of come up with a default preset to get a good starting base with. So I've got these photos here, nothing magical. Um, they're, they were shot on a rainy day and so I know my default import is not going to uh, give me the look that I want. So I've already kind of done this once or twice before and the recordings kind of mess up but I'm going to go ahead and start again. So importing the photos will bring me here and I'm going to make sure to turn off remember these standard previews and I'm going to just double click on this image and go into the default uh, or the, not the default the develop tab and you can already tell looking at this image it's it's kind of dual low contrast uh, it's not a lot going on it uh, has uh, kind of updated it but um, yeah it's not a it's not that great of an image it could get a better uh, initial starting point with this and we're gonna use the preset to do that I shoot in RAWs if you didn't already know and most raw images are always going to have to be processed after the fact. In fact, I, I don't know any of the raw image that isn't because you're dealing with the raw data on the from the actual sensor of the camera so you have to process it and I work with raws frequently so um, yeah you're gonna wanna have that preset set up so let's go ahead, go through and set up these settings so I'm gonna bring kinda slide around this recovery slider and see what it gives me and I'm probably gonna with a relative, relatively high setting on this one same thing with the fill you know, this is shot on a rainy day. And I kind of keep in mind my histogram, trying to get that, you know, good hump or two spikes going on. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Bump up my colors down here and come down to the tone curve. And this is all what you like to do. You don't have to do these. This is just my preference. And I've played with this enough to kind of know what I like. I don't adjust any of the color settings or the black and white settings because your colors are going to change from every photo shoot. And and that's not something I want uh, to happen. I want something that I could generally apply to all my photos uh, when I do it. And I'm not going to do anything with a split tone. And you could if you wanted to. If that was your style, you, you wanted to do that. I've seen some photographers that have done that and it seems to work well for them, but I, that's not what I decided to do. I'm going to go ahead and set up the noise and sharpening settings by default. And again, I, I've already played at these enough to kind of know what I like. And you're going to want to do the same thing to get what you want. So yeah, we'll do that. Keeping in mind that, you know, if I'm going to import photos, the high ISO setting and some of the low, do I really need it that high? And do I really need it that low? <clears throat> but I'll leave it there right now. Let's see. Lens corrections, I'm going to keep that off. I shoot with L-series lenses. And while there are some th flaws and, and things that can be corrected, I'm not going to apply that this time. Let's go ahead and apply and maybe increase this vignette going on. Midpoint. Bring in a little more and feather it out. Okay. Camera calibration. This tab will show up when working with raw images. 
It's not going to show up when working with JPEGs. And I'm going to leave it at the 2010. My, my camera setting standard, I shoot with uh, Canons. I, I don't like the colors when working with these. And there's not a huge difference in, in this one. There used to be, I think this one is the one that has, yeah, you can tell the reds. And some of these colors over here change significantly. I like to keep it at the camera standard setting. You can try some of the landscape. The landscape does kind of move some of the colors around a little bit more and does give you a little, quite a different style of looking images. You can kind of tell right down here. But I'm going to leave that there. I feel like this is a pretty good starting point. Uh, maybe I will bump down some of the blacks. Yeah, so let's see what that looks like. I'll go ahead and create the preset and I'm going to call it import rainy. And I'm going to make sure the setting, my, my white balance setting is not selected because I will adjust my white balance setting um, after the photo shoot for each group of photos under different lighting conditions. I, I don't like to do it. You can do it if you want. I don't. So I'm going to leave these settings, create this preset, and then I'm going to come back into my library and I'm going to essentially delete all of these, re-import them with the default preset that we just created. And to do that, you're going to come over here, apply during import. And if you're importing off a memory card, you may have some other settings over here. These are already on my hard drive, so that's why this looks like this. Make sure your render preview is set to standard and change the develop setting to that preset down here. I've got quite a few presets, um, so it might take me a second to scroll down to it. Okay, import rainy. Select that, apply some keywords if you want. I'm not going to, but uh, go ahead and click import. It'll bring the photos in. Once they're brought in, now it'll start rendering the standard previews with that preset we just selected, and you should see these thumbnails update as that is created. So we should be able to see what the preset gave us here. See, there you go, quite a significant difference. And you know, I may not like some of the, the highlights in this area on this part, but uh, you know, it gave me, it's given me a sure heck a lot of better starting than what I would have had if I didn't have any of these photos selected. So see, let's, let's just take a look. So here I've got this photo. Uh, we'll do the comparison of the before and after. Maybe it will. Oh, I have to have the develop, I think, preset selected for that to show up. Oh, it doesn't. It uh, it overwrites it at the import, so we can't see. But, uh, yeah, I hope you got a good idea of uh, creating a default preset for you within Lightroom. It'll save you gobs of time and give you a really good starting base when working with raw images. My name is Matt, and I'm with Creative8, and I look forward to seeing you around. Thank you.